to six. Late that night, there was a knock on the door of the old warehouse. Go away, yelled the other yellow cat. We're closed. Call us by appointment only. There was another knock on the door, followed by a rather feeble bark. <laughs> all right, all right, complained the yellow cat. Keep your tail on. I'm coming, I'm coming. The yellow cat opened the door. There was a small hairy dog outside. The small hairy dog handed the yellow cat a card. This is what the card read. Bimbi Bottlenose Two, Emperor of Heligoland. Pedigree Norwegian Lapdog. Lapdog, eh, said the yellow cat. Then you've come to the right place. She stepped aside and let him in. Look what the cat dragged in, said the yellow cat. Boys meet Bimbi Bottlenose the second, Emperor of Heligoland. The poker players looked up from their game. We can call him Nosy, said the yellow cat. Nosy meet the gang. Root the Fang, Snarler McMurtag, Butch Hilberg and the Sundance Pup. The gang wagged their tails and made room for Nosy at the table. Clive, said the yellow cat, make sure the boys don't stay up too late. We've got work tomorrow. You're the boss, boss, squawked the cockatoo. So where are you from, stranger, said Root the Fang. Nosy gave him his card. Root looked at it. Norway, he said. It can get very wet in Norway. Nosy nodded and put a playing card on the table. Emperor of Heligoland, said Butch Hilberg, chewing on his doggy treat. I once saw the Emperor of Heligoland. Wore a splendid hat. Nosy nodded and played another card. Care for a doggy treat, offered McMurtag. Nosy shook his head. Don't say much, do you? McMurtag snarled. What's wrong? Cat got your tongue? Don't mind him, said the Sundance pup. He's just sore because his last owner took him to the poodle parlour for a shampoo. Nosy laid his playing cards on the table. For the house, squawked Clive. You win. Time for bed. Nosy didn't sleep well in the lapdog's basket. Root the fang snored. Snarler McMurtag whimpered. Butch Hilberg chased squirrels in his dreams. And the Sundance pup had terrible wind. He was just beginning to doze off when the door opened and the yellow cat crept. The yellow cat opened her bag and took out an emerald necklace, which she carefully hid beneath the floorboard. Just then the telephone rang. Ring, ring. The yellow cat leaped into the air with surprise and Clive woke up with a squawk. Ah! Don't just perch there, hissed the yellow cat. Answer it. Clive picked up the receiver. The lapdog agency, how can we help you? He said. A lapdog? Certainly, madam. We have an excellent selection. Would you care to make an appointment mm, this morning? Yes, sir, um, I think we can pick, pick, fit you in. What time? Now, well, I suppose, uh, let me see. Just then there was a knock at the door. Must I do everything myself, said the yellow cat, slinking up the stairs. 